right, today in geometry, we are looking at section 7.4, which are special right triangles. We're going to start out with the 45-45-90 degree triangle. So it says the special nature of the 45-45-90 degree triangle is their ability to yield exact answers. So exact answers instead of decimal approximations when dealing with trig functions. All 45, 45, 90 triangles are similar. So remember that means that they all have congruent angles, corresponding angles, and corresponding um, sides that are proportional. 45, 45, 90 degree triangle is an isosceles right triangle. Remember that an isosceles triangle has two congruent sides and congruent base angles. Congruent 45-45-90 triangles are formed when a diagonal is drawn in a square. Remember that a square consists of four right angles, and its diagonal bisects those angles. If the side of the square is set to a length of one unit, then the Pythagorean theorem will find that the length of the diagonal is going to be, well, let's try that. So here we have our square. If we take, draw that diagonal, right, we end up with this over here. This is 45, this is 45, this is our 90. We said we're going to put these at 1 and 1, so we can do Pythagorean theorem to find C. So we get C squared equals 1 squared plus 1 squared. So C squared equals 1 plus 1. C squared equals 2. Take the square root. We find that it's the square root of 2. So then we find that our hypotenuse is the square root of 2. So we have a shortcut pattern or formula. Since all 45, 45, 90 triangles are similar, their corresponding sides are proportional. Therefore, we can establish a pattern. This pattern only works in 45, 45, 90 triangles. Okay? So that pattern says our two legs are the same. The hypotenuse is always the leg times the square root of 2, okay? So the hypotenuse is equal to the leg times the square root of 2. The leg is half the hypotenuse times the square root of 2, okay? All right, let's try some of this out. You'll want to memorize those special formulas. Okay, so we'll just write those up here for us so that we can remember them. So the hypotenuse is equal to the leg times the square root of 2. The leg is equal to half half the hypotenuse times the square root of 2. Okay. If our legs don't have a square root of 2, that means our hypotenuse will. If our legs have a square root of 2, that means our hypotenuse will not. So number one, okay, I know that it's a 45, 45, 90 because they have these two marked, which means it's isosceles. So my only options are for those two to be 45. So if this side is 8, A is also 8. Okay, so A is equal to 8. My hypotenuse then, without having to do Pythagorean theorem, because it's a 45, 45, 90, I can use my shortcut. My hypotenuse, which is C here, is equal to my leg, 8 times the square root of 2. 8 square roots of 2. And we're done. So let's try this one over here. Again, I know it's a 45, 45, 90 because of the markings. So the other leg is 3. The hypotenuse C is my leg, 3 times the square root of 2. So number 2. Here they give me the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse says 7 square roots of 2. The hypotenuse is supposed to have the square root of 2 in it, right? So remember that my leg, okay, is equal to the hypotenuse, 7 square roots of 2, times the square root of 2, cut in half. Okay? Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is just 2. 2 cut in half goes away, so my leg is just 7. So A is 7, B is 7. So really, if my hypotenuse has that square root of 2, I can just drop the square root of 2, and the number in front is my leg. So let's look at when, like number 2, when the hypotenuse does not have the square root of 2 like it's supposed to. So on this one, my leg equals my hypotenuse times the square root of 2 cut in half. 
So here, A and B, 9 square roots of 2 divided by 2. That's what both my legs will be. Number 3, again, I recognize it as a 45, 45, 90 because it has both sides have tick marks. I have the hypotenuse. So my hypotenuse is 6. So my leg is my hypotenuse times the square root of 2 cut in half. This time, 6 divided by 2 is 3, so 3 square roots of 2. So this leg is 3 square roots of 2. This leg is 3 square roots of 2. This number 3, again, they give me the hypotenuse. It's a 45, 45, 90. So my leg is equal to my hypotenuse times the square root of 2 cut in half. 4 divided by 2 is 2, so 2 square roots of 2 are those two legs. Next one. This one's labeled 45, 45, 90. They give me a leg, so I automatically know the other leg is 9. My hypotenuse, y, is my leg times square root of 2, 9 square roots of 2. This one over here, again, 45, 45, 90. They give me the hypotenuse. I need the leg, so the leg is equal to my hypotenuse times the square root of 2 cut in half, which is 6 square roots of 2. So here, x and y are both 6 square roots of 2. The last one, again, I see it's 45, 45, 90. They give me a leg, 8 square roots of 2, so I automatically know my other leg, 8 square roots of 2. My hypotenuse is my leg, 8 square roots of 2, times the square root of 2. Well, 8 square root of 2 times square root of 2 is just 2, so 8 times 2 is 16. So here, y is 16. Okay. So that's one type of special triangles. Now we're going to look at another. Now we're going to look at what's called 30, 60, 90 triangles. The special nature of the 30, 60, 90 triangle is their ability to yield exact answers, again, instead of decimal approximations when dealing with trick functions. All 30, 60, 90 triangles are similar. Congruent 30, 60, 90 triangles are formed when an altitude is drawn in an equilateral triangle. Remember that an altitude in an equilateral triangle will bisect the angle and is the perpendicular bisector of the side. If the side of the equilateral triangle is set to a length of two units, the Pythagorean theorem will find the length of the altitude to be what? So we start out with our equilateral triangle, which means all three sides are equal, which means all three angles are 60. We drop our perpendicular bisector in, so that creates 90 down here, turns that into 30. So now I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So again, here, this is my 60, this is my 30. We're going to say that this, it said where it was 2, so this side is 2. Oh, sorry, not in this one, I'd do that. So notice that in my triangle here that I've drawn, that 2 becomes my hypotenuse. If this side started out being 2, remember perpendicular bisector cuts this in half, so this is now 1. So now I need to find this angle over, or sorry, this side over here. So Pythagorean theorem, I'll just call, call this B. It says B squared plus 1 squared equals 2 squared. So I get B squared plus 1 equals 4. B squared equals 3, so B is the square root of 3. So the shortcut pattern or formula, since all 30, 60, 90 triangles are similar, their corresponding sides are proportional. Therefore, we can establish this pattern. Again, this pattern only works in a 30, 60, 90 triangle. H is the hypotenuse. LL is the long leg. The long leg is across from the 60 degree angle. SL will be the short leg. The short leg will be across from the 30 degree angle. Okay? So we see that the short leg is X. The long leg is X times the square root of 3. So the short leg times the square root of 3. The hypotenuse is 2X. So the hypotenuse is 2 times my short leg. 
Okay, so the short leg is actually half the hypotenuse. The long leg is half the hypotenuse times the square root of 3, or long leg equals short leg times the square root of 3 if you combine the formulas. So then the hypotenuse is 2 times the short leg. Okay. So let's try some of these. So number one, again, how do I know which type, uh, which shortcut to use or if I have to use Pythagorean theorem? I see I have a 90 and a 30, so that forces this to be 60 degrees. Okay. Again, let's just put those formulas up here. So my short leg is equal to half my hypotenuse. Okay. My long leg is equal to half my hypotenuse times the square root of 3 or my long leg equals my short leg times the square root of 3. I can also say that my short leg is equal to my long leg divided by the square root of 3. And my hypotenuse is 2 times my short leg. So here they give me my short leg. So my long leg, which is B, so here my B, my long leg, is my short leg times the square root of 3. My hypotenuse is 2 times my short leg, so 8 times 2 is 16. So on these, they work out nice when the long leg has the square root of 3 in it. We'll have a little bit of work to do when the long leg doesn't have the square root of 3 in it. So this number 1, they give me the hypotenuse. So I know I can very easily find my short leg because my short leg is half my hypotenuse. So my short leg would be here. Half of 10 is 5. My long leg across from 60 is my short leg 5 times the square root of 3. We'll look at the number 2 below that one. So here they gave me the long leg with 12. Okay. So if we look at this, okay, we said that our short leg is our long leg divided by the square root of 3. Okay, so 12 divided by the square root of 3. But remember, we can't divide by radicals. So if I multiply top and bottom by that radical, I get 12 squared of 3 divided by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4 squared of 3. So if my long leg does not have a radical square root of 3, my short leg and hypotenuse will, and I will divide that by 3 and then multiply by the square root of 3. My hypotenuse is 2 times my short leg, so 4 squared root of 3 times 2 is 8 squared root of 3. So we have number 2 over here. 60, 60, okay, they gave me a hypotenuse, okay? so I know that my short leg is half my hypotenuse, so this is 7 halves, right? This C would be 7, it's the same. So now I need to find my long leg. My long leg is my short leg, 7 halves, times the square root of 3. This one, they gave me my long leg, 7 square roots of 3, because it's across from my 60. So my short leg is just the number in front of that square root of 3, so that's 7. My hypotenuse is my short leg times 2, 14. 30, 60, 90, they gave me the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse cut in half is my short leg. So my short leg here across from 30x is 8. My long leg is my short leg times the square root of 3, 8 square roots of 3. Over here, they gave me the short leg of 7. My long leg is my short leg times the square root of 3. 7 square root of 3. My hypotenuse is my short leg times 2. So 7 times 2 is 14. And the last one, they gave me the long leg, which has an 8. Okay? My short leg, remember, so y is going to be 8 divided by the square root of 3. Multiply top and bottom by that. So I get 8 square roots of 3 over 3. So that's y. So this is 8 square roots of 3 over 3. My hypotenuse is that doubled. 8 square roots of 3 over 3 times 2. So that's 16 square roots of 3 over 3. Then you need to memorize these rules. So make sure that you are doing the 30, 60, 90 rule on 30, 60, 90 triangles only. The 45, 45, 90 rule on 45, 45, 90 triangles only. If they are not a 45, 45, 90 or a 30, 60, 90, you will have to do the Pythagorean theorem. Your homework over this is a worksheet that contains 30, 60, 90 and 45, 45, 90 triangles.